Hello, everyone. I'll be with you in one second. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Let me know where you are joining in from. Thank you. This is what we're sewing today. Lakala 5081. So who's all up in here, up in the house? I want to know who we have. Let me make sure I see your words. I think I see your comments oh hey wow look at all these folks we have okay this is awesome yeah look at this thank you for letting me know who you are california i guess you guys can hear me well but i'm still gonna plug in my my mic here hold on a minute there we go. So I'm still going to plug in my mic. Okay, so basically today, wow, look how many folks we have here today. This is awesome. Terry from California. Jay Lawson, welcome. Hi from Raytown, Missouri. Wanda from Ohio. Welcome, Wanda. I said, you can still grab some popcorn and cold drinks. That's right. <laughs> I have mine right here. I have my popcorn and cold drinks. Yeah. Who else? Watching from work. Hey, 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 now don't get fired on me. Okay, Patricia, good to see you. So anyway, I think I did good today. I have several cameras working. So this should make it easy for you guys. Actually, that camera is the one I need to be. Look, hold on, y'all.
my face. You can see I got my face. Let me get the camera right. My face. That's not that face. That's my face. No, that's not my face. <laughs> <laughs> I got three cameras working and I don't know. <laughs> this is my face. Because <laughs> when I get ready to start talking to you guys while I'm sewing, I want you guys to see what I'm working on. Um, we're going to start out by uh, not talking so loud. I know, right? I try to be a techie person. <laughs> Thank you, Dandana. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let me see if I can use when I'm looking over here. Let's see. I could do one more camera. I think I could do one more camera. Let me add that one and do one more camera. I don't know if I did that right. I don't know. Here we go. Okay, there we go. I don't know if I could brighten it up, though. This camera is kind of weird because this is my, this here is called a um, webcam on the camera and it looks bad. So I don't like using that camera. So I like using the other cameras. Okay, so Germany, we have Germany in the house. Welcome, Germany. Okay, so let me go ahead and open my um iPad so I can see what you guys are talking about and it's fully charged. Then I'm going to show you the fabric and all that good stuff so that you guys can, let's see. Oh boy, I tell you, these people on Instagram and stuff, they just, ooh, they just want to be half naked, all kinds of stuff. I got to close everything I have everything open on here let's see here close all of that yeah and then look I said Siri Siri always got something to say and then I'm gonna send this to my iMac cancel okay so I had to tell Siri to cancel all right. Now, here's the fabric. Oh, let me show you the fabric. Okay, here's the fabric. It's really hard for you guys to see it. Uh, move that out of the way for a second. It's a burnout. Look at that. Ooh, isn't that nice? It's a velvet burnout. It is so fine that it is going to be okay for it to be up against my skin. I am not going to line it. See? Look at that. And it has like little kind of like uh, celery colors in it. It has, um, let me see if I can make the camera a little bit better so you guys can see the color. I don't know if that's going to help. But it's got little celery pieces in it celery color and it has black and it has everything it even throws off a whole lot of nastiness <laughs> okay now for the collar let me show you what I'm going to do for the collar this is the pattern we're using I think I have that a little too bright but this is the pattern I'm using. It's a Lakala number 5081. And it said it's made to in light to medium weight stretch knit. Okay. So that's why I did this in a, a burnout knit. Because it's got the right amount of stretch. And then for the collar. I am using a an 11 ounce jer rayon jersey. These fabrics I purchased myself from so much fabric. So I have two cuffs and they fold in half. And then it says that the default seams are going to be one fourth of an inch for mostly everything or one centimeter. I'm going to do the downward seams on the serger with one fourth, the shoulder seams, five eighths inch and so on. Okay. 
So I've cut it out already. The dots I've already marked. The knit fabric pieces are going to be sewn together with the zigzag and the uh, narrow bottom. I'm going to sew it together with that as well. On the sewing machine, I am not going to use any kind of uh, special stitch except for when I get ready to do the buttonholes. So on here, I most likely will not do the buttonholes. We'll see how far I get. So I've already cut the front piece, the back piece on the fold, the two collars, the sleeve, cut two of those, the cuff, I cut two of those, and the sleeve slit facing, that's kind of like one of those bias seam facings. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So basically, these are the steps. Uh, I'm not gonna follow any steps. <laughs> so, um, it says two buttonholes on the cuff, two buttons on the cuff, and five buttons on the garment itself. I usually put more buttons on mine, so I'm not gonna follow that rule. Okay, now this is the instructions that we're gonna follow. Now, as far as some of the instructions that it tells us that we're going to be top stitching and everything like that, I'm going to be making a few changes as we go along, so you guys need to pay attention. Okay, if you want, <clears throat> excuse me, if you want to know what I'm doing. All right, now I have a quick little video to show you all that I think you will enjoy. Let's see if I can find it. This was me cutting it out. So basically, it was just a simple little video of me cutting that out. So that's it. And now let me get back to the uh, sewing machines. As far as the sewing machine for, as far as the sewing machine for us doing the, um, let me see. I'm going to do the darts first, okay? And I'm only going to put interfacing in some places. You guys know that normally you put interfacing inside. Is this up or down? Normally you put in interfacing inside of the... I got to raise this up. There we go. You put interfacing in the collar and in the cuffs. I don't think I'm going to be doing that. Okay? So let me go ahead and uh, turn on my, my face ID has to turn this thing on. Okay, I'm trying to turn on my YouTube so I can listen to it while you guys talk. Listen to me. All righty, let's see, Andrea. Uh, I don't see my own live stream oh there we are go ahead and, oh uh, wait 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 my my face id has to turn how do i how do i make sure i turn on my my bluetooth you know the reason why we were so late is because the guy he came in he he knocked on the door to come in my backyard and when he knocked on the door I mean he knocked hard and I was thinking geez why is he knocking so hard and I thought that it may be one of these people that try to break in your house you know uh when they first come 
they just they knock on the door to see if you're there so that they can break in. So y'all already know I was kind of worried about that, you know. So that's why I had I really was just about to start and it went and I thought, what the heck? And and so I don't even know if my, my volume was on, but I was like, what? Who is it? And he was like, he was like, we need to get in your backyard. And I'm thinking, okay, dude, why did you have to knock so doggone hard? You know, I was like, dude, you're knocking like you about to, you know, you, no, that's not cool. So anyway, I was really not happy with the way he knocked on that door. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I had to tell y'all that story because that kind of scared me. All right. Yeah. Show some love and hit thumbs up. Thank you, Dan Dandana. Bandana. I appreciate that. Um, yeah. So anyway, we're I'm looking for some um there's all my black all of my black i had to get all of my black stuff thread y'all i got some new fingernails they too long i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to go back and have them shortened because this is not working for me it feels like I can't pick up pins. I can't really do much of anything. All right, so put these black. I have that goes there. Working on these right here. So I think the lighting is too bright for y'all. I'm sorry. Let's, let's uh, I look like I'm. <laughs> there you go. Let me put some red in my skin. Put a little pink in my skin. Well, I like doing all this stuff. Don't y'all just love this? This is like, whoop. <laughs> y'all not supposed to be able to see that stuff in the background. I'm trying to, I'm trying to sneaky sneak on some work back there. There we go. All right. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're going to be working on the sewing machine first. Wait a minute. Got to be able to do this properly. I'm going to end up changing the bobbin a couple of times through this project, especially when it's time to get to do the buttonholes. Now, for the buttonholes, I am going to use an interfacing. I am. I, just, I, I did say I'm not going to use an interfacing. Wrong. I am. I lied. So... Let me go ahead and get my scissors and everything, get this ready. I can't find my wireless remote control. So you guys are going to be looking at the table with me with this remote control in the way. Okay, so sorry about that. That's called life. If y'all don't like it, get off the internet. <laughs> I'm doing this thing. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is the back. Now, I've already put this back this way. I have the pins in here. So let's move this over. Okay, so I got the pin right there this is the top of the dart so i'm going to open it up where's my stuff i don't know why that's always doing that ah i just want to stay oh i know i keep having this system set up 
to where it is not doing correctly. See now it sounds like he's on there again. Sounds like he's out there again. I don't like that. Okay, but I'm going to leave it alone. I'm just not going to be tripping. Life goes on. Here I am. For those who are coming in on the live stream later on, um, I'm here. Somebody want to know when Andrea goes live again? Be sure to subscribe and ring the little bell. Thank you, Say Show. There you go, because sometimes this thing does that. All right, so I have to make sure it doesn't. Okay, so now this is what I'm doing. See, why does it keep doing that? Okay. I have that. So I'm going to put this here. I'm using this white and it's soap. It's like soap. Okay. I marked it on the outside and it, it came off. So this is the deal, the dealio. You guys know what I did? I cut, <laughs> I cut my measuring tape in half when I was on that little fast video showing you guys how I was all techie savvy doing that video honey i cut my thing oh that's a dart that's a side dart this is the front oh so i'm good to go there i'm good to go so now i can take the pen out there we are pen cushion Okay, ready to rock and roll. All right, we got focus on there. I can't really do this with my left hand. Oh my God, where is it? Bernina table. I'm on the Bernina. And table. There we go. Okay, it needs to be brightened a little bit. Y'all see this here? This is me watching y'all. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I am handicapped by these fingernails. Shuz, these things are cute, but man. Celery. I don't know if you can see the celery. Can you see it now on this? Can you can you see this? It's it's like gray. You guys are gonna have to just Trust me, these are webcams. You see the celery slash gray? It looks like. Oh, I forgot to turn on my big light. Now, can you see the celery? I don't know. That's really pretty. Okay. All right. So this is the front two pieces. 
I marked it. There's the dart. Got my sewing machine ready. I'm sewing with a ballpoint needle, walking foot. 2.5 for the dart until I get down to the tip. Okay, so this is how it's going to work. All right. All right, I'm over here. Y'all just uh, pay attention. Don't get all messy, messy on me. I clipped the dart right here, so I'm going to grab this here, center of the dart. And make sure it's straight. There. It's not centered. It's a very small dart. When you get when you make something to your measurements, your darts are not gonna be gigantic. This is where I stop. This is where I start, and this is my marking to stay straight and don't get all overzealous. I'm actually going to put a lot of dots in here because I don't want it to stretch out its shape. Okay, so I'm going to put that one to the side. You bought that pattern, but time ran away. Oh, well, this is going to be, this is going to be, oh, you're going to use a stretch mousse, Andrea. Cool. I love it. Okay. I wonder if I can make this bigger. I can't make that bigger. All right, so here's the second dart. This is the front. And it's very tricky to get this working out. So these are my cuts, my slits. So make sure I don't miss anything. Right there. Sometimes you have to draw a line down the middle. This is, y'all, I'm eating. Fold it like that. And I wore my cute bracelet for my kids. They gave me these this bracelet. It's a Pandora bracelet. But when I'm sewing or typing, this thing drives me nuts. So I'm going to take it off. All right. Like I said, this here is some really, this fabric runs away with you. I could do a French seam on this now that I'm looking at it, but I'll, I didn't cut a 5 8 inch seam allowance. In order to do a, five, a French seam, you need a 5 8 inch seam allowance. A 1 4th inch seam allowance is not going to work. All right, this is ready. You already know I'm going to test it. So I'm going to test it on the bias. Just to check this dart. Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right. I'm going to come from out here.
Ooh. It's catching in the back. Uh, that's too tight. Gonna do three and a half. It's too tight. It might be my sewing machine. Okay, let me try that again. It might be my sewing machine, you guys. I'm going to clean it a little bit because I just did some red work. I did red work for somebody. You probably can see it up in behind me. Oh, my God. Shucks. Hit me in the teeth. You guys. You guys. Y'all don't want to see this. I'm going to turn this camera down. Look at this. Look at this. E, 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 E. Look at that. That is not cool. Holy me. Look at that. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, man, Verdina. They going to be like, oh, my goodness. No wonder it was jamming up. Oh, my goodness. This is embarrassing. That is so... Ooh. That is embarrassing. What y'all, don't y'all be that? Don't y'all, <laughs> she say it's so fire. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> then you can't be a, you can't be a brand ambassador. We, you fine. You guys got so many lessons when you come on here live, man. I tell you the truth. <laughs> ah! Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. Gee, dude. That's enough stuff to make enough to, to yarn. No, not yarn. That's enough stuff to knit. That's enough stuff to do do some knitting. Oh boy, this is insane. Oh, y'all don't even want to see what's in front in the middle in here. Mm, mm, mm. You're not supposed to blow it, but baby, I got more stuff in here. It's probably not even going to notice I blew it. Let me check the inside of it, uh, um, the inside of this here, too. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I can't even keep showing y'all this. This is ridiculous. I'm going to look inside of this here. It's got a little bit up inside of here. Oof. 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 Okay. I should be okay now. This is something else. This is get the sewing machine ready, guys. Don't be playing games with your sewing machine. You want your sewing machine to do a good job. Treat it like you love it. And right about now, you guys are probably thinking, uh, you're not the one to talk. 
Not in the sewing machine. Going to be like, you, you need to just, you got to go. You got to go. Okay, so now. Oh, that was not cool. Take that under there. We should be working now. Let's see if it's mad at me. If it's mad at me, then we shall know. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. All right. So we back on me. <laughs> Oh, man, that was not cool at all. But how much did you guys learn from that? Oh, y'all got enough messages on here. I can't even see them all. <laughs> okay, let's do some of these practice dots and then I'll come back. Hey, Sherry, thank you for joining in. Oh, my goodness, this... I'm going to turn Siri. I'm going to turn Siri off. It's okay. Just for reminding others to keep their sewing machine clean. That's right. All right. So let's get this thing working out. I'm going to move me to this side. Okay. For those of you who are just joining, we are working on a knit, and but knit button shirt from... Um, What's the name of her? We're working on a knit button down shirt from Lakala. Okay. So right now I'm going to test again since that's probably why it was tripping. Okay, let's do that. Oops. Maybe I should check this too. Okay, it looks good. Dang, y'all. I was really having that messed up, didn't I? That was really messed up. I can't believe I was messing that up. I mean, I literally was trying to sew. Okay, here we go. It's going from tip to bottom, from big to small. Okay, wish me luck. Here we go. Yeah, I think... I think the baby said, you're good, but I'm going to do a teeny tiny zigzag because I do need just a tiny stretch inside of this dart because it's on a vertical. I mean a horizontal because it's on a horizontal. I need a little bit of stretch. So I'm going to do it again. That's just enough, and it doesn't show. It's really a beautiful stitch. That's really a beautiful stitch, okay? I like this stitch, okay? So let's keep going. All right, so the next one means I can go ahead and begin. I'm going to try not to stretch this out of shape as I go. I'm going to take one of these threads and pull it forward. I can't pick it up. My fingernails won't allow me to pick it up. I got new fingernails. Oh, my God. They pretty, but I couldn't pick up my thread. 
Okay, so I'm going to put this in here, use this thread as a guide down to here. So the thread is going to keep me from stretching the fabric itself. Okay. All right. That needle is too close. This this thread literally is keeping me from stretching, from allowing this to pull. It's helping me. All right, so now I'm going to lower this down to the end down to like one point something because I don't I don't tie I don't tie why just so it like super teeny 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 tiny and then you don't have to okay so let's get that back up and be ready for the next one That stretch is really nice. That's really nice. Okay. And that doesn't show through too much. Hmm, I'm not going to worry about it. Life is too short. Y'all stop worrying about it. Okay, so... Back to the 2.5 and the 0 0.7, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Make it whatever you need to do with your sewing machine so you won't be getting all stressed. I'm not using the uh, extra thread. I'm just pushing this in here so it won't stretch. The walking foot helps as well. And then don't let your fabric hang off. I curved this a little bit because it'll go around my body. Now I'm going to go down to the point, shorten the stitch like a holy crap stitch. Short, 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 short. Because I don't, <laughs> I don't tie. All right. I do not tie. There we go. Nice little stitch. It shouldn't stretch too hard around your body. Ooh, that's, look how, look how you can see through that. Okay, so now let's do the back. I got my pins in the back. Let's move this on machine. What is this? Okay, save that to the side. All right. So another little thing to tell you guys what's going on is... Go ahead and remember, you can sign up for my Patreon club, hashtag, what do you call it? Hashtag, um, I don't know, selfless promotion or whatever. Okay. This is the, oh no, this is the sleeve. Goodness gracious. That's the sleeve. This is the bag. Here's the back. I have the pins in there already. See? I don't know if y'all can see that. Okay, so look at these pins right here. So now what I'm going to do is take my soap. If I can find it. There it is. Got that one there. And I'm just going to draw it really well. It'll wash out. This is uh, Taylor's chalk, but it washes out because it's, it's like soap. All right. 
see the little bitty notches, whatever you want to call it. So now I can take these pins out. I don't know what I just did with the pins. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, you can wait to the end to put your dots in. Y'all check that link in the description and check out my Patreon page. The Patreon page, you think this is some knowledge, baby. You get in my Patreon group and you're going to be, on a weekly basis, be enjoying some wonderful learning. I didn't press this. I didn't do this as well. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to look at this line here and go out a little bit, about an inch. You see how you can determine how wide your dot is? You see that. Y'all see that, don't you? Don't you remember when I made that Renaissance costume? Uh, it wasn't a costume. It actually was a Renaissance uh, vest I made. Uh, was it in the summertime? It probably was in the summertime. I went to a Renaissance kind of... Yeah, this here is going to be like that because it was a one inch wide dart. And I have to make sure I do the same thing over here. Okay, I know y'all are looking close. With a container of silk finger help you pick up the delicate fabric so you can keep your nails I do have some of those I don't know what they are though well no 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 I don't know what they are silk fingers that sounds weird that sounds really cool there's something out there for everything isn't there I wish I had this set for you to put the link but I'll check it later Maria, thank you. So put um, the big P in the front of your comments. Let me know who my um, patrons are. I'd love to see who my patrons are on here. They, the system said I'm supposed to see my patrons, but it's not showing up. All right, here we go. Try not to let your fabric hang off the table. Oh, it's at the office supply store. Here we go. Okay. Turning this back down to two. The stitch width is 5.5. .5. Something like that, okay? For those folks who want to know. Get this pin out of the way. Do not start off on a pin, but I will start off on like a one. There, so it'll be real tight. Now go back up to a two. Now if, you, if your sewing machine cannot handle this, Put something under this fabric because I am telling you, this is tissue weight. Okay. Hi, Teresa. I got this fabric from so much fabric. It's listed. Everything is listed in the uh, description. And of course, we did a instruction on 
how to fit the bodice and how to actually draft the bodice in our last patron class, which was on Wednesday. So if you guys sign up, you can always go back and watch those. Like I told you, I don't tie. <laughs> so there, that looks really good. Now let's do this next one. There we go. All right. Your dart's supposed to hang straight. It's supposed to lay flat and straight. That one was not flat which means I did not have it even on both sides. Sometimes you may just measure or pin or mark incorrectly. Try to mark correctly. Starting out really small. Now I'm going to go back to the two. I make my darts curved. I do not make straight darts. You know, I just made a gray, kind of gray looking garment already, didn't I? What time is it? Dang, I started late. This is, I'm going to tie this down. And there's a lot can be hidden in the type of fabric I'm using. So you guys need to recognize that too. I just tied that dart off with the sewing machine. Okay. What else? What else does it say do? I can't remember. I got to remember not to allow myself to forget stuff. Sew so darts, press darts, waist darts, towards center. Y'all know I'm not going to do that. Sew so side seams, surge and press towards back, fold hem allowance, under and top stitch. Hey, that's pretty good. Sew so the side seams, then that's pretty good. I like that idea. Fold self facing onto right side of garment. Well, we'll get there. Let's concentrate on going ahead and doing that surging. Yes, Carla, the video is out for the uh, bodice. You should have already seen that. Yeah, you got to go back. It, it's out. I went ahead and did it. I didn't shorten it or anything because it was such a good video. You know, I didn't want to do any changes to it. Okay, let's go over here to the serger. Let's see if you guys can see this serger. All right. All right, here we go. We're going over here to the bodice to do the serger. Oh my God, why the... All right. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Now, I'm not going to go into any extra trouble for you guys to see me surging. I'm not going to do any special camera angles or anything like that. You guys, come on, man. It's a surger. Figure it out. You can see. You can't see. Just imagine. <laughs> I'm really picking on you guys today. All right. These are my scraps. Always test. I'm doing a four thread stitch right sides together. Here we go. 
can't see y'all's comments right now. I'm over here testing. All right, let's see what we have here. This is not stretchy all the way down. It's stretchy across, which means I really don't have to worry about it being real stretchy. Be, I mean, I don't have to worry about the stitch being real stretchy. Let's call. See if this works out. That looks pretty good. That looks good. It's kind of rolling up a little bit. Something is a little too tight. Okay, let's see here. That's a good stitch. It's coming loose. So that means this is too tight right here. Loosen that up. You see, because I can see it on the other side. Do that again. Oh, that's much better, but I'm going to shorten this stitch too, since this is a very lightweight fabric. Mm. Still doesn't look good. Y'all see that little piece right there? Oh man, something is too tight. I hate this when this happens. I hate when this happens. You gotta balance your stitches. Every single one of these is different. Oh, that one looks good. Look at that. That one looks good. There it is. There it is. Okay. Now we can do this scene. Side scene. Let's make sure I do the side scenes. This is the front. There's my dart. This is the back. This is the back. All right, let's see here. Still have a pen in. Why do I have a pen in there? Why do I have a pen? Oh, that's the sleeve. <laughs> Get the sleeve out of the way. Okay. I like to lay the back down first because it's easier to know what you're doing when the back is down. So now I have the back laying down. So now let's go ahead and put these side seams together. There we go. Ooh, you guys are missing all these comments.
Thank you. Small stitches for lighter weight. I Sometimes that's the case, Carla. I could go into more detail later, but we could do one power units this year can do. We could do fabrics. Y'all notice I wasn't picking up any pins to, to do this. <laughs> okay. You guys know our unit studies through each unit. We do several sessions to cover whatever we're working on in our materials. This is really a pretty fabric. I didn't think it would be pretty, but I did cut the hem in correctly. <laughs> I cut the wrong pattern line on the hem. That's just wrong. Oh, I shortened the front an inch and a half, but I didn't shorten the back. So I'm just going to sew it off when I get ready because this was too long. And like I said, this is a very small seam allowance. So Oh my goodness. Wonder why it's telling me I have these. Don't stretch this. You guys already know what I'm doing, right? I'm making sure this is not getting stretched. I'll come back and cut this extra in the back. Okay, so that looks good. So let's do the other side. This is the sleeve opening. Okay. The other pieces in my lap are on the floor. It's on the floor. Here we go. You know what? My sewing machine sounds loud too. My serger, which means what? Which means what? Who's on here? Who wants to be ahead of the class? What does it mean when my serger is loud? Answer the question very quickly. Answer that question. Answer the question. Who's going to answer that question real quick? We're going to see if you guys know what you're doing. If you guys know any answers. I'm on here all the time. Wow, look at all of the folks that's joined in today. Awesome. Which means we have a lot of thumbsy upsies. How is my, who was that? So she said, oh, we don't even think about cleaning. I didn't even think about cleaning. <laughs> after the way that, after the way that sewing machine looked. <laughs> You guys are probably thinking, ooh, oil it. There you go, Anita. Anita got it. It needs oiling. Okay. All right. I need to oil my machine. Let me go one more time here. Ooh, that's loud. A second. I only have to put two drops. 
then I'll be good to go. Let's see what kind of difference it makes when I oil it. Ooh, my, I'm moving over too far. Can't reach my oil. So let's see. I'm not going to finish this seam because I want to see how much of a difference it makes. Oh, wait. Okay, that's where it tells me to all it right there. Right there. And right there. Okay. All right, let's see how it sounds. We're going to check. All right, you guys, listen and let me know. Well, it does sound a tiny, tiny, tiny bit smoother. Not enough to, you know, write home about. But maybe it's because I didn't go through it enough. You know, I didn't sew through. You know, you have to sew through. I'm moving all of these bobbins because they're getting on my knives, my ever-loving knives. Okay. Terry says she doesn't have a serger. So last week, Terry, you need to go watch that video because I showed you how to sew knits without a... thought I heard somebody. Okay, here we go. What's the next thing? Fold, seam facing. Let me see. So seam facing. So seam facing. I don't know what this means. I don't know what they're talking about. It's really hard to understand some of the things they try to tell you to do. Okay. I did that. Pin collar. Oh, number two. Oops. So, so okay, wait a minute. Sew the darts, press bust darts toward him. Sew side and shoulder seam, surge and press towards back. Oh, I need to show, I need to, boy, they have a lot of stuff in one. Sew side and shoulder seams and press towards back. Fold him allowance under and top stitch. Man, we're doing everything before we even sew the, the collar. Boy, we're doing everything. So we need to just sew the seam for the shoulder. There's the back. There's a side seam. If I had known that, I would have sewn the side seam first. That's the neck. Okay, this is the neck. Woo! You guys! I'm thinking. That's a shoulder. 
Mrs. Shoulder. <laughs> Y'all must be mesmerized because you guys are not saying anything. Any, any, anything. And don't be telling me I have stuff in the way because I have a right to have stuff in the way. Now, I'll tell you, I did make adjustments to this shoulder. Now, this shoulder can be secured by a twill tape. So it won't. Okay. I'm going to get a twill tape off, out, out from up here. Hold on. I'm going to get a twill tape here just a little bit. Straight. Stay tight. Yes. Which means I need to turn the iron on. Okay. Let y'all see this. Because y'all know how much I love y'all. You got to have a twill tape to support this. Sometimes I don't use it. And sometimes I do. This is the time I will use a stay tape. So don't get... Twill tape. <laughs> All right. Can I turn the iron on? Yes. Usually you put it on the back seam. It's a securities thing. You just put, you can put a piece of interfacing in this seam to stop it from stretching out of place. That's all it is. It's a stabilizer, just like interfacing. So I'll just think of interfacing. It's interfacing for the shoulder. Okay. Doesn't take much. You don't want to melt your fabric. It's going to get caught up in the seam itself. You know, I'm thinking. <laughs> when I get quiet, I'm thinking. That's why you use glass head pins, too. Because you can sew over the pins. Once you sew over the pins, they won't melt. I put all of the supplies that I'm using inside the um, description. You guys, please take your time and use what I put in the description. That'll help support the channel. It's almost 3.30. I'm going to take a short break. You guys can come back if you want to. 
you can go check around with the description and all the stuff I put in the description. You can go check out and read my website. Oh, I forgot to cut this. Okay, now I go and sew this on the seam. It's a short seam. I mean, not short seam. It's a seam that doesn't require a long stitch. <laughs> Terry, you retracted your message, huh? Ah, okay. You knew to stabilize the shoulders. I promise I'm going to get a dress made. <laughs> I try not to make you guys have to look for the sewing machine. I don't like watching um, videos with the sewing machine not shown. Also, I have my private channel called AD Lynn Speaks. Oh, that's pretty. It's nice and supported in the back. And it doesn't show through too much in the front. Now what else does this thing say? It says, okay, I did that. I have a banana over here I was going to eat. Okay. So side. Shoulder seams, surgeon press, fold hem, under, and stitch. Pin collar pieces, right sides together, and sew outer edges. Trim and press, sew collar to neckline, serge and press. Fold self facing right side of garment along marked line. Sew to neckline over the collar. Hmm. Let me see if that will go all the way over the collar. This is the extension right here. So if I was to fold that back, this is the notch right here. It only usually goes to the seam allowance right here, which I'm not going to do that because if I did that, then that means the raw edge of the fabric will show right here. And as well as that is concerned, I am also going to support this back neckline with some stay tape. So I'm going to clip this a little bit because it's uneven. Here we go. This is going to get supported. I'm glad I didn't get up and put away my stay tape. Now this is on the website too. You can guys go to my store on my Amazon store. Because I am hashtag, hashtag uh, selfless promotion. I don't care what anybody thinks. There we go. You didn't think it was going to be so intricate, did you? That's why I'm not going to do the buttonholes on here today. <laughs> All right, that's going to be good. That's going to keep that neckline from acting like it's crazy, which I think I might go ahead and do this too. 
I'm going to do this too. Up to, this is the center front notch. This is the fold notch. So I'm going to go all the way. I just want this whole neckline stabilized. Go to the center front. Some things have a lot of stress. I don't have very much water in this iron. This is a polyester, so I'll be able to just throw it in the washing machine. I think I just cut a hole. No, I didn't. So I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna put in a, um, this stuff just up to the fold line. This is the fold line right here. It's gonna get folded back on itself. It's got a built-in facing. That means the facing is part of the front. This helps you to not have to worry about having a separate facing to stitch on indiv individually. This is really a beginner friendly pattern. I'm hitting it to knock the heat out of it. Okay. I don't need to do the second part because it's going to get stitched over this. So it's going to get supported by itself. Okay? So when I stitch this to here, it's going to be supported anyway. So now we put this collar on. Okay? It says to do the bottom hem. But if you guys remember, I forgot to shorten it. I'm going to have to lay this out better and see. Okay, let's do this shoulder. Not shoulder. This collar. Yeah, I clipped. I'm not going to put interfacing in this. And the reason I'm not going to put interfacing in this is because I want it to be just as stretchy as this. I'm using a gray. You see how nice that is? I can go ahead while I'm ahead of the game and sew the sleeve while I'm over here. I know I have a pen in here. There we go. This is the sleeve cuff. So I could do the sleeve cuff. This part right here, that's the top. I'd have to do this part here first. So my bad. These go to the back, which means there's a line that goes to here. Stop right here. Then this got this gets sewn to this right here to create a lit a, a slit so you could open show so your sleeve will open and then these are your notches to make the dart or pleat that goes towards the back. So this has to be sewn on first on a flat. So I'm just going to lay that there because that gets cut open. You lay your sleeves down first. Make sure you're doing the correct side. And I always make sure it's about four inches or so, which is one finger length. 
So don't worry about looking for anything. See, I just do one finger length, just like that. Make sure you're the same distance apart. There we go. And we'll come back and do this in a minute. Let's go ahead and do that collar. Stay focused. Because I sure was about to <laughs> I sure was about to do that. Okay. Moving back over to the other sewing machine and all that good stuff. Here's I am. Okay, we're going to the regular sewing machine so you guys can see what we're doing over here. I'm not worried about the right and wrong side of the collar. Oh, yes, I am. One is darker than the other one. And one is fuzzier than the other. So I'm going to put it together like that. And the straight edge of the sewing machine, it's the straight edge, straight edge is what gets sewn. This notch is the shoulder seam. Oh, miss your comments. Thank you, Carla. Appreciate it. And appreciate you being a patron, too. This is where we're gonna do just a little bitty zigzag, two point, two point, and point five, five point five. Oh no, point five, something like that. I have white labels for my name so to fit so with the weight and the color of this I'm not going to put labels in this oh it's time for a break let's sew this and then do a break and then we'll come back with showing you how to put this in and turn this over and start stitching Okay, and like I said, this is one, this is five, no, this one here is one centimeter, okay? I lift that up and I stitch this way. I'm really holding this up. I'm not, not letting it uh, stretch. Ouch! I just hurt my finger. You guys see how I get when I start thinking, right? I get so weird when I'm thinking. I have to press this. I have a 20 foot cord for my mic. Okay, this has to be turned like this. That needs to be cut really well. The 
because this is not going to turn. Hello, Isa. Hadn't seen you in like forever. Hello, Isa Keeper. I am really cutting this close. Did you guys know that there's what they call on here a super chat right where you chat? There's a little dollar sign. Did you guys know that, that that's there? It's called Super Chat. It donates to the channel. It actually puts money in my pocket. It doesn't go to YouTube. Okay, so now. I'm going to use my um, tweezers to do this. that way if you don't want to be a patron for four dollars a month you're welcome to donate four dollars one time <laughs> hashtag self-promotion here we go we're pushing this through And I'm being very careful here. There we go. Now let's go press this. I can trim this, I suppose. Oh, now I gotta undo it. Now I have to undo it because I, I forgot to trim it. Duh. Duh. Now these scissors I'm using, these are serrated scissors. And it's good to use serrated scissors because you don't you don't really push your fabric. What do you guys think? Do you think I should top stitch this collar? Give me your opinion. Give me your opinion. What is T H W R Karen. What is T H W R? I don't know acronyms. Does that mean top stitch? <laughs> Okay. All right, so let's go over to the iron. Try to do it neatly because it's going to show through when you press. It's going to. Okay, Terry. Yes, ma'am. I gotta make sure. Let's do that again. We can put this up inside, grab it like that, and turn it. It'll do better. Self promotion. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Thank you. I am definitely doing what I love. There we go. Mm. Okay, so let's go back to the iron.
the laces? What laces? I don't know what you're talking about as far as the laces are concerned. I'm not I'm not sure what you mean about the laces. Do we have laces? I'm trying to understand some of y'all stuff y'all saying. But I do need to take a break real quick. I'm barely touching this. Because I don't want to stretch it out of shape. And I don't want to leave a shadow. I was doing a uh, sewing chat on Facebook one time. Let me tell you why I created an Amazon shop. Oh, that's going to be nice. I was on Facebook, right? And every single thing I was using, somebody kept asking what is that? Where do you get that from? And so it was so taxing to have to do that. And then I got on Amazon and Amazon said, oh, affiliate. And I thought, affiliate? What does that mean? It just means that I was like, holy crap. Y'all want to know how much my affiliate check was? <laughs> my affiliate check from Amazon was like $16. <laughs> I was like, oh, people don't use your affiliate links. I thought to myself, all oh, these people. But I'm going to keep putting it in there. Okay, this is where you have to, woo, sixteen whole dollars, and I know a lot of people have more. They get way more, but you already know. Oh, I don't think I'm not I don't think I'm gonna use a design stitch. But I do want to stabilize this collar. But that's my daughter-in-law has a family channel, a family, a family uh blog. I think. And then, just so you guys know, <laughs> I oh, I started a, a planner channel on here on YouTube. I love it. I'm gonna glue this down if I can find some glue so that it won't move around. Some people watch just to, and, and it's just, you know, only about 200 people follow. It's not even monetized, which is okay. I just want to do something other than always teaching stuff. You know, it's like something fun to do, talking about what you love. Okay, now this has to be clipped up to just a seam allowance. Oh, man, I clipped it too far. <laughs> ah! There we go. All right. 
So now let's get this done. Let's see, where is that front? Okay. It says to put this here. Let me make sure I move that iron because I don't want to burn myself. Move that too. <laughs> okay, this is the collar. This goes to the center front or over there. It goes to the fold in the center back. Why is this over here? Y'all know I'm thinking, right? My mouth hanging open now. <laughs> I always match the center back first, then the side shoulder seams. Once I match the shoulder seams, then I match the center front. Oh, I did it upside down because I clipped that extra. I'll explain that when we do our meeting next week, ladies. It's too much to explain right now. I'm over here. I'm over here thinking, thinking, thinking because <laughs> I want it to be so neat. This is the collar. Very important. It goes to this to this part right here, to the center front. No, wait a minute. Does it go to the fold? It goes to the fold. Okay. I'm thinking. So this is going to get folded back over this. Ah, it's gonna get folded over this. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. I could put these together at the same time, but I don't want to confuse you guys. Make sure my stabilizer is in place. Sometimes you don't use enough heat. And I didn't use a whole lot of heat because I don't want to melt this fabric. Have you guys ever been to that HEB that has the upstairs and the, uh, there's a treadmill, not a treadmill, the baskets go down an escalator, up and down. Can, wow. That is so cool. Oh, that's going to be nice. I can actually stitch all this together. <laughs> I was pretty impressed by that. I get impressed by quite a few things. I am easily impressed. I'm going to stitch it all at once. Some people, some people actually do basting. Watch me baste. <laughs> <laughs> Don't 
Don't get excited. I'm not about to base this. I don't want to hear it. I don't want anybody on my website telling me I didn't base it. It's called get off my internet. <laughs> this is going to be so cute. I can't wait to get this done. It took me forever to decide what fabric to use. It really did. I'm a pin baster. Who's on here? A pin baster or a thread baster? Pin basters, raise your hand. I should have done a poll. I couldn't I couldn't think about the color combinations. I was going to use black, but it was just too stock, too too much black. Too much of a contrast for the black. I didn't like it. Oh, that's going to be nice. Pen baster. All right. Anita. Anita is a pen baster. Welcome to the club, darling. I'm right there with you. Then I thought about using uh, blush. Oh my God, lighter color with this didn't work either. I can wear a lighter color uh, pair of pants or a lighter color skirt to wear with this. That would have worked out, but not as a contrast. It would have locked me in to the same type of um, look every single time. I wouldn't have been able to mix and match. With this, this way I can, I can wear green pants, black pants. I could even wear brown pants with this. Yellow, beige. I said beige, right? Denim jeans. Okay, here we go. This is, this is really tricky. I'm going to have about 50 pins in here. You know, it's natural to check and see how many people are watching. It's a couple of people had to get off. They didn't say bye. Usually people say bye. They say, oh, I'll catch you later, Andrea. I'll catch you on the replay. Here we go. Now let's turn this front back over to the shoulder seam. There's the shoulder seam. But really in my heart, as far as looking and paying attention to who's watching, I really don't care as much as I feel like I do. I really, it's, it's one of those mix and match kind of personal things. Ooh, this is tricky. I get this shoulder seam. Fold this back. As far as the interfacing is along this front, I forgot to put interfacing on here. So I'm going to put something maybe like a just a, a long strip of trico, trico lining, a black trico lining under there. And that'll stabilize it when I put the buttonholes in. I don't know if you guys have ever used trico. Woo! There we go. Oh my goodness. That was a lot of work. Whew, that was a lot of work, all that pinning. 
All right, let's get this done. <laughs> I'm kind of tired. Less is precision involved. Yeah, when it's precision, I hand base. Focused on what I'm doing. Yes, I am. I'm going to take a break in a minute. Maybe I'll take a break right now because I said I was going to take. Yep, my, my, my watch said it's time to stand up. It's time to stand up. So I'm going to take a break. Get some water. You guys have to love me and stay here. If you don't, I will see you later. Bye for a little while. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me on this break period. I am going to be right back. So all I need you to do is back up this recording and check out some things that you may have already missed if you are new. If you have been on here for a while, take yourself a break so that you can be just as fresh as I am when I come back. If you need to take a break, do take that break. For the replay viewers, of course, make sure you just scroll forward on this timeline. You have a few minutes if you want to prepare yourself. We have been working on this latest project. Take your time, read the description below. Make sure you get yourself a drink of water or prepare your sewing tools and get ready to work with me. This may just be a podcast in the sense that you look at it as something to listen to while you work i sure enjoy having you guys here and i appreciate your time your support check out my patreon page also check out my website my instagram and you already know everything online that says so to fit you will be able to reach me you can also reach me at andrea at so to fit.com if you need to email me also don't forget check in with my schedule on my patreon or on my instagram you'll find out all the different times i will be going live so i will see you guys in just a few enjoy the music taking a break do not sit here and stare at the screen unless you're sewing all right let's do that two-step ladies get it going move around Let's get it going. Come on, anime. All right, I'm ready to get started real soon, you guys. I'll be back real soon.
are you ready to get back to work? Come on back. Get ready. Take your seats. Don't tell me you've been over there doing the hold down or the two-step. Come on, I'm almost ready. I know this is something that you are not used to, having somebody put you on break while you're on a video on live stream. I dare you, Andrea, to do that. But listen, folks, I am really enjoying these live streams, but of course I can't do it 100% without a break. So I'll be back in one more minute. Finish the music. Okay, now everybody take your seats. Andrea is in the house. Let's get started. I know my uh, video has a lag time, so you guys already know I'm over here dancing to nothing, but I, my earbuds are listening to the video. So basically, <laughs> you guys think that you are watching me just not doing anything or over here chilling and dancing to no music, stuff like that. So because my system told me to stand up for a little while i went ahead and stood up and for that little while i stood up i went ahead and cut my interfacing because i was going to not do interfacing not cool because this is going to be right at the front where the buttonholes are so i'm using a trico buttonhole I'm using a Trico interfacing and I put the interfacing in the description also I really went out of my way for y'all this time so shucks I did a lot normally I don't but I said you know what I think I just did this backwards <laughs> um I don't need to do this very heavily because it's going to be turned underneath when I get when I finish doing this here. So one thing that um, let me see, can y'all see that? I can y'all can't see that. I'm not going to move the camera again. But basically, I'm just going to steam it a little bit, and then not really. I I don't say nothing about me using a press cloth either. <laughs> Y'all already know what I'll say. I use a press cloth. I do. I use a press cloth on most things. But this time, I'm not using a press cloth because it's going to be turned up inside and it'll just be fine. All right. So you have to make sure you use whatever you need to do to, to have everything looking really nice and pretty for your outfit. Right now, I am going back and 
making sure that these line up, making sure the sections line up, making sure the neckline lines up, and then I'm going to go ahead and stitch it. I'm not going to stand here and pin base it all over again because I already know where I'm at and how it turned out when I pin basted it before. So it, it's coming together very easily and very quickly. Okay, so that is ready. So now for the other side, it's the same thing. I just took those, I took those apart and like I say, I'm just using uh, a trico lining. This is the trico lining. You see how well you can see through it? It's very, very fine. I'm using an extremely fine burnout. So that's something that you have to think of. You have to use an interfacing that works with your fabric, ladies. I'm just chilling. Uh, but my question before, I think, did you guys take a break with me? Are you still here? Oh, that's so sweet. You guys are still here. Thank you. Nice glasses. Thank you. Oh, that's a long comment. I can't see it. Francine, Francine, you're back. Okay, so. Look at this. Oh, that's going to be, that's the wrong side. Look at the right side. Oh my God, this is going to be a gorgeous, gorgeous blouse. Now, let me um, tell you guys something about the reason I didn't use black. Also, one of the reasons I didn't use black is because this is flocked. And because this is flocked, that means that it has a little bit of extra stuff that gets onto your fabric. So when I rubbed this black up against it, it was getting little fuzzies and that bothered me to no end. So then I tried to use, um, I tried to use a knit. This one here I just showed you is a, what kind is that? Um, a, a jersey? A matte jersey. So I tried to look and see if the matte jersey would work. It wasn't working, you guys. The fuzzies was getting on all of it. So I figure, do what would not cause the fuzzies to show up. So what would cause the fuzzies not to show up? Gray. Heather gray. <laughs> So uh, that is why you see me with the gray as the collar trim and the, uh, the cuffs, okay? Now, normally when I do these live stream shows, and I call them a show, <laughs> they're actually, I was hoping folks would be sewing along with me. I'm going to show you how I put this interfacing on here. For those folks, as far as the... Um, Folks who want to sew along with me, I'm going to finish sewing this in front of the camera if I don't finish it on here because I'm looking at the clock and I have to uh, be somewhere. We started at 2. I try not to do longer than 3 hours or 2 hours, 2 and a half hours. It's pretty, pretty close to, you know, the, the, as much as I want. So, um, that's one of the things you have to think about. Sorry, y'all, I have to bring. Oh, Andrea, I was able to start dinner. Okay, friends saying, hello, everyone. I came in late, but was listening as I'm doing some foundation paper piecing. Really? You quilt? Oh, Wow. <laughs> want to be closer to Houston. I was dancing during intermission. Oh, you know what? <laughs> intermission is the bomb, isn't it? I'm going to add more songs to it. I have to get approval, you know, for the songs to put on your on your internet. I don't want to get any copyright infringement. So I got to find some more songs we can add. And I want to put some songs up in the front. So I, I'll do another video. 
you know, just have to do a little bit. All right, before I start, let me show you. Take a look at this. You see how that interfacing is placed on there? It's just on the facing part because when it gets folded over, it's going to get closed in. See? And it's not going to cause it to be too dark. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, pin this back like it was before. I like having the songs at the uh, intermission. And uh, I, I had a hard time deciding what day. At first, I was doing Saturday night. The original, when I first started doing live streams on YouTube, they were on Thursday night. Who is here that remember my Thursday night uh, live streams? Is there anybody on here that remember those Thursday night live streams? I had to stop those because I had surgery on my knee. I didn't, you know, it was just life. Life happened. How about that? I'm not going to even talk anymore. Life happened. So... That's what went on. Okay, so we are ready to stitch now. There we go. This is going to be so pretty. Okay, so then I decided after that, what would be a good day? And you guys remember the hashtags, uh, it's so to fit Morphe challenge. I decided to do that on Saturday. At first, I was going to do it on Friday. And then I thought, I can't do that. I can't work five days a week and not have a break. So I decided not to do that one either. All right. We're ready to go on to our next little thing here. Okay, we're ready to get back to the Bernina. Wow, my mic works great. It came all the way from over there. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. My mic worked really nice. All right. You guys can see, I can see. For those who are new today, this is what we're working on. We're working on a knit button down shirt from Lakala. The description and all of the information is in the uh, link. At first I was going to do a stripe, but I read it later on and realized it said stretch fabric. So this is where we are right now. Let's see if I can let you guys see this. Um, all right. Let you guys see. Okay, so now, oh, here's the shirt. It's a fit. Okay, it's a really simple shirt. But depending on the fabric, it becomes very difficult. Now, I did shorten the back by one, one inch, but I forgot to shorten the front. <laughs> so I'm going to cut one inch off the front. I'm going to uh, make the change on the front and get that worked out. Okay, we've already done all the darts and everything. So fold facing onto right side of garment along marked line, sew to neckline over the collar, trim the seam, clip the curves, sew along marked line of hem. Turn facing onto wrong side of garment, press hem a blouse onto wrong side and top stitch. I'm not sure I want, well, I do need the top stitch because of the way it's made. So let's go ahead first and uh, let's go ahead and sew this collar first. You see the collar is getting sewn up all at the same time. All right. All right. All right. 
right, let's make sure we get this done. Oh, it keeps slipping. So I have to get the collar caught up. I need to get the collar caught up at the same time. Just so you, you guys will know, I'm just going to sit that right there. Ugh. We're using a burnout. This is a, ooh, it's really, <laughs> hold on. It needs to be nice and snug or else your turn will look like crap. There we go. And I'm doing a 3 8 inch seam allowance. And I'm using a two, let's see, I'm using a two inch, two point zero millimeter stitch and a point five millimeter zigzag width. Okay, so in case there's anybody that might be on a German machine, that's going to help you. Everybody's sewing machine is different, so test it like we did at front at the beginning. Don't just go by me. Do not let your fabric just hang out. <laughs> uh, I wish I had a flat bed like my like my industrial sewing machine. And keep it all nice and smooth. I didn't even finish the edge of my facing with the serger. That's probably where they meant turn it, turn it in. Ooh, this is off. Sometimes you have to just keep it open. Oh my God. This is... Going around curves can be very tricky. I think I just did a boo-boo. All right, here we go. I'm up here at the part where the collar, y'all know I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking. The girl is over here thinking. Trying to make everything even. I wish you guys could see this, but I cannot be moving this camera one more again. It's not going to work. You guys are as close as you can get. Without me knocking everything over. Just have to make sure I don't get anything pinched. I'll help you guys out. I have it as close as you guys can get. Got these fingernails working though. I could tell you. Somebody said I could get some little satin pins or satin. If you guys on here, you, you probably know about all this stuff because you do quilting. Oh my goodness, this is a nice shirt. Oh my goodness. I'll take the pictures and have it on Instagram next week. I decided because I do this on Friday night, I'm not going to get off this off this thing, live streaming, rushing, go through the situation of trying to take pictures and post to Instagram all in the same day. That's just not going to work. I'm going to go over that again.
Yeah, I tried that before. That little section where I was telling you I'm going to go over again, it was right at that neckline. And I think it had a little um, problem. If this is not even at the top, I'm going to tell you guys a secret. I make it even at the bottom. I don't worry about the top. Because this is a stretchy fabric. So don't give yourself a heart attack. Oh, yeah. See right there, that got shifted a little bit. So see that gets caught up in there. This is too small. See that seam is too small. So I'm going to go deeper. That seam got too small. It's supposed to be a, a one centimeter. Here we go. I just want to make sure it's even. Even to the collar. Because I, I chopped that collar up. I did that wrong. Oh, there we are. Yeah. It's nice and smooth. It's going to stop right in the correct place. Right there. Same thing over here. See where I clipped it? It's not far enough down. Because that clipping is, I clipped it too far. Clipped it way too far. Who else has a party to go to? I have a party to go to tomorrow. All right. One thing about stretchy fabrics, I don't like that people who are new to sewing, I don't like them learning how to sew on stretchy fabrics. Just because of this problem right here. You could get away with murder. <sighs> Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. No party just worked. Look at that. So did you guys, do you guys think the gray was a good choice? I think the gray was a good choice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. 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 That might not. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, it's all right. I thought I had a puddle going on up in there. It's not a puddle. So now it's time to put the sleeve through the sleeves and all that good stuff. And that works out. So I'm going to have to tell you guys that right now I have gotten very tired. You try stretchy fabric and your machine wanted to eat. <laughs> yeah, you need a walking foot. My machine eats, my machine eats stuff sometimes, but not all the time. You know, my machine does that sometimes, but not all the time. Y'all see this room? It's, it's just messed up. Um, You see that dress right there? 
That dress is the one I'm working on. Um, but if it eats the if your machine eats the fabric, it's probably because you're starting off right on the edge. If you have lightweight, then put something under it, like leftover tissue paper from when you cut out your pattern. Put that on under there first before you even get started. Yeah. The gray does work. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, you guys, I am tired. <laughs> so, we are not going to go any further than 4.30. Um, let me see what else. Can you guys stop your uh, live chat and go and do the thumbs up for me? All you have to do is press the little X on on live chat and then do the thumbs up and then come right back to live chat that'll really be help me i mean that'll really be that'll really be helpful so let me show you what our uh, patron group has been working on this is what we did patrons on sunday wednesday i'm gonna hang this on my mannequin i'm happy about this i might hang it on a mannequin just to do a quick little thing but we literally drafted, this is called the 30-minute draft. I mean, the 30-minute draft. Y'all don't understand. Andrea knows how to teach you how to draft just like that. So if you guys want to see that, you can go see it. This is a 30-minute draft. I don't play, okay? And the ladies were happy they were really happy this came out wonderful yes so then the next thing we're going to do the part two of sewing this we're going to do the sleeves maybe i'll do some of the sleeves right now i really want it done but i need to finish this look at that beautiful fabric um, I have to do the, I need to do this part right here. Oh, that's a sample. I just need to clip this down the middle and then lay it over. What does it say? So clip this down the middle. Let's see here. So we sewed the darts. Number one is sew the dart, press the bust darts. We did that. Sew the waist darts. We did that. Sew side seams. We did that. Fold hem allowance. We did not do that first. We're saving that. Pin collar pieces together. And so outer edges, we did that. Trim corners, turn right side out, press. We did all that. Sew the collar to the neckline, surge and press. Sew the collar to the neckline. I just did that. Um, but I did not do it the way they tell you to do it. So you better watch that section on how we just did this. See, look how nice it came out. This is the inside. Look how nice it comes out. If we had it done it the way they said, it would be raw edges. So right here on the inside, yes, I'm going to hand stitch. I'm going to fold that up in there and then let me show you how I'm going to fold that up in there. This is going to get folded up. I mean, pushed up, and then this part is going to get folded down over it like this. I know I don't hand stitch much, but this is sometimes actually I just uh, top stitch it under here because it's underneath the collar. You never see it. Just get stitched right there. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought y'all could see. My bad. <laughs> I 
my bad okay so this is gonna get i did do that then this gets clipped I always say I'm leaving and then I start working again. <laughs> so this gets pushed up inside. Okay. This part is a little too much. It's too thick because it's a seam allowance. So I cut that out. Push it up inside of there. Fold it down. I'll get to that later, but I'm just going to show you guys. Okay, so you push this up inside like this. Same thing with the facing. Facing gets folded down, but I need to cut that out. Facing, need to cut the facing out of the way so that it will go up inside. It folds, folds it, folds it down. Then this gets sometimes depending on how much this has to be really neat up in there. Don't try to rush. This folds down. This goes up. Then this folds over itself. And when you hand stitch, you can fix all of the problems. Control the fabric a little bit more when you hand stitch. Now, just like I told you before, I forgot. And they did say something about finishing the edge of this facing. So I need to go ahead and finish the edge of that facing. All right. I don't know how they said finish the edge of the facing. But this is how this is how it's done. I really do think I have a nub up in here. Oh, okay, I do have a little bit of a nub up in here. I call it a nub when it's a when it's like a knot. There we go. It's folding really nicely. Now this is where the fingernails are coming in handy. And you know what, on those uh, videos where those ladies talk about the planner videos, they always talk about their fingernails. I don't know why they do that. They're like, oh, I didn't get my fingernails done. I'm sorry, ladies. I think because they do top down and they're showing their, they're showing their planner. And when they're showing their planner, the only thing is in the show is their, their fingers. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, let's go over this one more time. Make sure we get everything the way it's supposed to be. Okay, fold self-facing. 
Thank you guys for remembering to do this thumbs up, but it's still only two people. She said all the time, you watch uh, the videos about them doing that. Okay, so that's pretty cool. They do that, don't they? All right, so here we go. All right, so next is fold self-facing onto right side of garment along the mark line. We did that. Sew to neckline over the collar. We did that. Trim the seam. I didn't do that because it's lightweight. Clip your curves. We did that. Sew along marked line of the hem. We didn't do that yet. Turn facing onto wrong side of the garment. Press hem or blouse onto wrong side. We did not do that. And top stitch. Cut the slit into the sleeve. Now this number four is the sleeve. So I'm going to write down that that's the sleeve. And pin based strip. Look, pin bias strip, not pin based. <laughs> pin bias strip facing on vertically open slit. So this is like a bias strip, a bias slit. So that's what they're talking about. Thank you, Dan Dana, Bandana. Okay. The way you um look, let me show you how you guys do this. Okay. Look. Uh look. Okay. You have to click this button right here. The X. Then you have to go over here and click the check. Then you can go back here and check the live again. That's how you do the thumbs up for YouTube. Okay. All right. Then the next thing we're going to do, sew the sleeve into the armhole matching marks so that's the sleeve and the cuff and then the, it says to sew in shoulder seams we're not going to do so shoulder seams if shoulder pads if you're going to do shoulder pads you might be using a heavier weight fabric perhaps and make this into like a shirt jacket that would be really nice okay but i'm going to mark out no shoulder pads now, as far as making the buttonholes, I do have a tutorial on my blog that teaches you how to make buttonholes in a knit fabric. Okay, so if you want to do that, if you want to learn how to do that, you need to go to that portion. All right. So go to that YouTube video. Um, We'll go to my blog. I'll put it in the link below. Make five buttonholes on the right and make two buttonholes on each cuff. I love two buttonholes on two buttons on each cuff. So that's a total of seven buttonholes. But I usually put six buttonholes on the front of my shirt. But since this is laid flat more here, which creates kind of like a V-neck, I might only use five buttonholes or maybe even six okay because this is a loose fitting I'm um, most likely I'm going to wear a lightweight camisole or lace camisole underneath so it'll work so buttonholes on to the left and we're done that's it so that's what we did today ladies and I appreciate it oh you're three oh <laughs> my screen doesn't show that I'm sorry thank you I didn't know my screen didn't update I'm watching myself on myself okay anybody else have any other questions notice that I have 16,900 followers on subscribers let's get to 17,000 subscribers ladies yay if you do not have me as a subscriber you need to do it right now. <laughs> okay. All right. So bye, Genevieve. See you later. Oh, she's talking to Genevieve. Okay.
Thank you, ladies. See you on the other side of the internet. The next live stream is next Friday. That's what I was trying to tell you guys. The next one is on next Friday. I've been doing Friday, 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 Friday. So we have three more Fridays. Three more Fridays. Okay. Back to back to back. The week of Valentine's, no live stream. Okay. And uh, you can get that information also if you follow me on Instagram or if you follow me on Patreon. I'll always tell you ahead of time with a schedule. Okay. All right, ladies. Have a good evening. Uh, yeah. Yes. Jesus loves me. <laughs> okay. Bye, y'all. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Thank you, Sherry. Bye, you guys. Have a wonderful evening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>